All right, everybody. So before I'm going to run NetBooster, I have gone to speedtest.net and you can do this on your own machine. So speedtest.net. And once you're there, you're going to click this go button and we're going to see what our current download and upload speed is uh, before running NetBooster so we can see what we gain. So give it a second to run. All right, so our download speed is 45.5 megabytes per second. Let's see what the upload is. All right, so 40.07 megabytes per second is our upload. All right, so let's go run NetBooster and uh, see what we gain. Okay, so I've gone ahead and opened up the system mechanic software on my machine and I'm going to click on performance, which is going to bring me here to this performance home page from the drop down. I'm going to select deep clean. You'll notice that NetBooster is actually the first task that deep clean is going to run. So let's go ahead and hit start clean. We won't finish all the tasks, which is because we're just testing NetBooster. We just want to see the benefit from running NetBooster. So let's see. Now remember NetBooster is going to optimize your internet settings to help you get some more speed. So uh, it says that mine are optimized. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this. Uh, this this alert is just because I have Chrome browser open. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this from running its other task um, because it's not applicable for this video. So I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to back out. And then we're going to go back and run the speed test. Uh, so we'll pull up a browser. We'll run the speed test. And uh, we'll see what we gain by running NetBooster. Okay, so I've opened up my browser. I'm back on speedtest.net. And now, again, this is after running NetBooster uh, within the deep clean task. So here we go. I'm going to hit go again. And let's see what we gain and compare it against what we ran before. So it's going to run the download first. Let's see what we get. So 52.39 megabytes per second is our download speed. And 46.11 is our upload. So 46.11 megabytes per second. Now let's compare it against what we had before we ran NetBooster. All right, so let's take a look at our results. So before running NetBooster, speedtest.net detected a 45.5 megabytes per second download speed and a 40.07 megabytes per second upload speed. Now, after optimizing my internet settings with NetBooster, speedtest detected a 52.39 megabytes per second download speed and a 46.11 megabyte per second upload speed. So that works out to around a 15% increase. Remember your system, your device, your internet connection is going to vary from mine. And so you may actually see even better results. The thing to remember here is this is super easy to accomplish on your device. Open up system mechanic within performance, click through deep clean and then run the scan. Running the scan will allow you to use NetBooster and optimize your internet settings so you can have increased download speeds and enjoy the internet faster and better than before.